Hey guys, Daily Black with my uh, new Let's Play. And I know this is something that you guys probably hear all the time, but is there ever, do you guys ever, ever hear me ever say, oh yeah, this LP is done? Yeah, probably, I don't know. Like actually like finished? Yeah, you will. That made no sense. As I sit here and untangle my headphones. That works. I'm just going to make sure. Make sure I actually have audio. That's really loud. And I can't reach my mod remote. Oh, come on, reach it! Reach! Here we go. So yeah, my new LP is going to be Crash Bandicoot 2. Which is pretty awesome. Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex Strikes Back. Alright, so I'll be playing this on my uh, PS3. Which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Crystals. Of course. Oh. Cortex is awesome laugh. Just it's the best. One year later. Man, I don't even remember it. But Dr. Cortex to reach full power we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining twenty-five Slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Bum bum bum. Crash? 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 My battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Yes. What are you going to do? Throw it in the analog mode. All right, so this is Crash Bandicoot 2. Uh, square, spin, oh, to slide, you know, basic stuff. Bounce on these crates with the lines on them like this. And you, you get like this. nine coins. Nine coins. Oh, it's, okay, it's, it is. It's nine bounces. Coco kind of like extra hits. Extra lives. I have fun, fun stuff. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I'll be kind of explaining more in depth stuff when we get to the actual first level. These crates with the arrows on them, they, uh. They may, um. Uh, bounce. <laughs> Teleportation to a new world. And this is pretty much how cutscenes so far, the explanations. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. So you pretty much just have to find these crystals, and um, there's uh, like these each warp rooms, and there's five levels. Yeah, five levels in each warp room. Uh, every level has a uh, crystal and a uh, clear gem. The clear gem would be on the right side, right above Crash's head, as you can see everyone does. Certain levels have second gems. Um, as you can see, this one only has a crystal and gem. This one has two cr gems and a crystal. Some of them have color gems, which you have to do special, like, things to get the crystal. Crystal gem. Oh! And, um... So, yeah. Uh, let's get started with Turtle Woods. Just make sure my microphone's still recording. Because sometimes I hit the button and it would... Stop recording. And then they would be blank. For audio. Microphone. So yeah. First of all, Crash Bandicoot 2. I actually really enjoyed the second Crash Bandicoot game. See, I like the, I like the third one. But the only thing about the third one is that, um... Some of the things they have to do in the levels I kind of irritate me. Whoops. Ah! Oh. I can always see. Video games always have the best music. Yeah. 
die. Oh, I had to slam through it. Heh. <laughs> um. Turtles. Bad. Yep. See, I really don't have how much left to talk about and stuff like that. Uh, oh, I didn't crash. Hang up here. And yes, that that crate does count. Getting these crates is kind of a pain because if you happen to not have quick reflex and stuff and getting on the birds, you won't be able to get the crates like up top. It's kind of annoying. So yeah, even though it's the first level, it already has somewhat annoying gimmicks to it. And there's also three stages of Aqua Aqua Mask. Right now I have this cut for like second stage, uh, which is golden. The third one pretty much great deal. Uh, temporary invincibility. Here we have bonus areas, which you don't lose lives if you die in them. And you pretty much just collect stuff, give crates and lives, stuff like that, until tally up with your normal total at the end. See? Oh. So far, we're at a pretty good start, I would say. Like I said, every level has a. Uh, at least one gem to it. And you get that by destroying every crate in the level. Now I mean nitro crates also count also. I think that's pretty much great. And here's the temporary invincibility. And I didn't make it. I know some people can perfect the Ooh, oh, I wanna wait, I gotta get that crate. But I don't wanna kill that turtle. I have not perfected the uh, side jumping. Yeah, come on, crash. Back. You gotta go back, then forward. My fault. <laughs> There's a light, but I am gonna play more. Balls! <laughs> Good time doing it the legit way. But I don't like the legit way. Good! So, so I mean, so we got all 62 crates, the gems here waiting at the end of the level, bada boom, bada bing. Towards one stone. Now, I will go back right now and I'll get the color gem, because I might as well. <laughs> Do I say, kill two birds, one stone? Crystal. And gem. Boom. Crash is awesome dance. So, when it comes to certain percentages, I know crystals are, I think, 2% and gems are 1%. As far as I know. Talk show. Talk show. How oh, funny. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Paw, paw, paw! Try to go back. Because to get to a blue color gym, you have to go through the whole level without destroying a cray. I know, it goes completely against of what I just said before. How much time are we going on? 10 minutes? I can do this maybe like 5 or 2 minutes. And I just destroyed a crate. 4? <laughs> Whoops. Ah. <laughs> uh. That just. That. Ah. Uh.
fate of the world is truly your concern. You must g g g gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser, <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering Bomb, 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 so now it's like, uh-oh, I wonder who I'm allied with. It's all like, it's all gonna be coming down next weekend! No, I'm kidding. Anyways, yeah, uh, this time I will not destroy that crate. My finger is literally all the way from the buttons. Killing enemies is safe too. The only thing about that is that you might accidentally, um, hit the creature into the crate. You know, because how they spin away. You know, and you hit them. It's so ironic. That was just a really stupid thing. So yeah, it might be as tempting to grab like them crates. It's just this is like the other level. You have to hold off. Yes. See, so what pretty much made me want to do this LP is just because I I was like a big fan of Crash Bandicoot when I was younger. Yeah, this one. This so one you gotta kind of just hit this one, you know, because it won't break the crate. Watch out for that. Oh no, man! I can't make that jump. There we go. Man, that saves me time. Ah, balls. Murder crash. Murder them crash. I almost said that. I was gonna say murder crash. Like, ooh, kill me. <clears throat> bad bing, bad boom. Blue jam right away. So I don't know how many levels I'm gonna put in every, like, video. You know? That depends, you know, because this level is filled with lots of. Eh, well, at least we got 100% of the level, first level. That's pretty good. Dance. Yeah, in my opinion, actually, it's pretty good. Do a couple levels every video. Yeah, pretty good. Go snow go. So we go. We end this first part. I always think first parts of videos, you know, people always want to be like super extended and stuff like that, but. Depends, because. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, now we get introduced TNT crates. You jump on, they blow up. This is type of invincibility. I can just run right through them. Die, penguin. Yes. Oh, come on, crash! Come on! Oh, oh yeah, that was weird. There we go. That was you guys. People, guys, probably sitting there thinking, "What the fuck is he doing?" Ah, and I flew! I jumped right into the nitro crate. Oh! It was horrible. It was terrible. Yes. Okay. I guess. Memory served me different, and that those things have a really odd delay to them. <laughs> Red Jam, it's so tempting, but there's something else we have to do. To get that, and we pretty much don't worry about it right now. All right, bonus stage. There's ice. Ice. Hmm. Okay, I can reach it. I was skeptical about it. It was like a burp. It was like I tried to burp, but it was like nothing. Foolish seal. Go back to Antarctica. Yes. This would be this nitro crate switch. So we have 36 crates. Hit it. Goes up to 51. Destroys all the nitro crates in the level. I don't think there's any up here. 
Interesting. So yeah, um, I know people probably think I'm nuts for planning ahead so far, but probably will do another bunch of Crash games after this. I probably won't do three because there's a lot of people that actually did LP3 already. I just kind of blew. Did I miss something? I missed something somewhere, as I know that. Oh, and I, I know that that there was that um. Well, not balls, but that metal. Oh, there we go. Yep. I okay. I did. I must have hit um an, a metal exclamation box. So those dudes that makes the wireframe boxes, the computers, and the little crates, obviously. Ooh. Got our clear gem. Heck yes. We're off to a pretty good start. Like I said that red gem, we worry about that later on. Because it's all secret stuff that I ain't gonna worry about right now. I think I remember what level you have to go through to get to it, but I am not 100% sure on it. You know, memory. Got pretty bad memory. Uh, should I do hang eight? Uh, I want to. Uh, no, nah, actually, I won't. I won't. Uh, you know, I always make first parts kind of shorter videos. Yeah, that's my other one I had on the PS3 here. But, uh, up here. Oh, I'll do this. So hey guys, this is going to be 100% LP, as you guys can probably tell by the title, if I remember to put it in the title. Um, so, so far we have 7% done already. Hence I said, um, so we have two crystals, crystals count as 2% already, so that makes it 4%, and then three gems, that makes, you know, it's 1% every gem. I don't think color gems have anything to do with that, I don't think they do, no. So yeah, so that makes up to 7% out of 93%, unless there's 101, then 94, if there's 102, then 95, if there's 103, then 90, blah, 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 blah. you know, the heck with that. I just, you know, <coughs> excuse me, tastes like peppermint. Any, uh, anyways, I'm eating these peppermint patty things. Anyways, um, so yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed this part. Um, subscribe and, you know, all that fun stuff, and I gotta, I don't feel like, no, I feel like I got something to drink. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's why I have root beer. Yeah, okay, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and watch out for upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys later. See ya.